Accession of Lithuania to the European Union brought along more funds for environmental protection. Therefore, in the future, it is hoped that our country will also be able to contribute to the solution of the ecological problems of the Baltic Sea. From ancient times, Lithuanians respected and worshipped water, built settlements close to water bodies, used water for personal hygiene and the treatment of diseases, or spent their leisure time beside water. For hundreds of years, underground springs used to be the main resources of drinking water for our ancestors. However, they are not visible and are difficult to access. Knowing this secret, people used to dig wells. A well is a simple artificial cavity in the earth, only part of which is filled with groundwater without any pressure. Unfortunately, such shallow wells are easily polluted. Sometimes people, without giving too much thought, dig wells next to farmsteads where cattle are kept, or close to fields which are sprayed with fertilizers, or farms or fuel tanks. Though water from wells looks clean and tasty, very often it is contaminated with bacteria and nitrates, so it is very dangerous to drink and use such water for food preparation. Bacteria can be destroyed using mechanical biological treatment techniques, whereas nitrates cannot be removed at all. In the human body, drinking water contaminated with nitrates can lead to serious health disorders. Unfortunately, up to 55% of wells dug in Lithuania are polluted with nitrates and bacteria. Many Lithuanian villages, settlements and even towns do not have adequate treatment facilities. Pollution with household waste, intensive agricultural activities, industrialization and urbanization result in the discharge of a large number of pollutants to the environment and water systems. These pollutants eventually enter rivers and groundwater bodies. The price of water pollution is immense. Such water cannot be used for drinking, bathing or fishing. The treatment of polluted water and pollution control lag behind the pollution itself which results in rapid deterioration of the quality of surface water and groundwater. One of the most dangerous things is to pollute groundwater as we do not notice such pollution immediately. It is almost impossible to clean polluted groundwater to its natural level. Due to the careless and negligent industrial activities of men, certain underground layers of water have become accumulators of oil products. Groundwater travels along underground channels naturally. It is completely unclear where and when on the surface or somewhere under the water, maybe even on the bottom of the sea, new stinking spring heads will open up. The heavy burden of polluted water falls on the shoulders and consciousness of each and every one of us. Today, clean water in many European countries is regarded as a gift of God. Accordingly, nothing is being done to protect and to preserve it. It is not surprising that even at the beginning of the third millennium, many people still suffer from diseases typical of the Middle Ages, such as cholera, dysentery and hepatitis. Many people suffer a shortage of clean water and even elementary sanitary conditions. 16%, almost 140 million people, from approximately 877 million inhabitants of Europe and Central Asia do not have water supply pipes. 10%, 85 million, do not have necessary sanitary conditions. 5%, 41 million, do not have safe drinking water at all. Water resources in many countries are simply not saved. In some European countries, even 80% of the water extracted from underground is lost due to the inadequate operation of pipelines. Calculations show that more than 9 billion people will live on our planet by the year 2025. All of them will need water for drinking, the preparation of food, meeting sanitary conditions, as well as for rapidly growing industry. It is inevitable that we assess the changes to the environment. We ourselves must change our attitude towards the use and protection of water. We cannot wait any longer. 
It is high time for each of us to play our individual roles in the preservation of water resources for future generations. In the meantime, nature, more and more suffering from adverse human activities, continues its uninterruptible cycle of life. The sun keeps shining, the rain continues to fall, rivers flow and trees grow. Let us believe that mankind does put forward modern ideas and cherish new hopes for the future, which cannot be imagined without water, so necessary for all life of our common planet. Thank you for the financial support. Project realized by Music chosen by Consultant Author and director Cameraman Editing director Sound Director Graphics Producer English Text by Ken Basford From the series In Nature